Hi guys, so I'm doing a voiceover for the first part of the vlog as we filmed an intro on the way to the airport and I completely forgot there was music in the background so I wouldn't have been able to add it to the vlog. So here it is, I'm still learning the YouTube game so please bear with me everyone but anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> Tell us about the experience you just had. I want to cooperate from the airport, busy airport. <clears throat> yeah, we sat down, have a bit of food, have a drink. We got a rush here to go to a flight. But good spirits. We're going on holiday. Yeah, spirits high. So this is a prime example of um, hangry, I think. When Liam doesn't get fed, he had text out on me. I feel really awkward filming in here. Anyway. I was shopping. Bendy, Gucci, Burberry. And I don't think Liam was too happy about me shopping. He'd rather be in the restaurant eating and drinking. I'm having a cocktail. What cocktail are you gonna have? Beers lay my stomach, three drinks on the flight. Yeah, we'll have some drinks on the flight. Ask me for beer. It's 20 past seven and my flight's at 20 past eight. So we're kind of a little bit fine really, I'll let you know how we get on. We're on the plane, very very hot. It's hot on here. We're very excited to come for a drink. Yeah. Can't wait to watch a film and then land and get to it. Okay, so this was the food on the plane. Liam dipped cheese in the chocolate mousse. Cheese is nice on his own. Chocolate is nice on his own. He put cheese in chocolate mousse. So he's going to watch. Let's go now. Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin film. And I'm going to watch. So it's quarter to five in the morning back nice. home in the UK. Oh yeah. But it's about nine o'clock in Dubai. Nine o'clock in Dubai. So we've got the coffees. To the coffee because we are quite tired. Two ice lattes. <laughs> but you know, we haven't had much sleep. But carpe diem. <laughs> you have to seize the day. Our first day. We need to, to be awake for today because we are going to the walk park, Liam said, is huge. Atlantis. At the Atlantis. Even though he's never been to Dubai, apparently he knows that it's huge. All we've got to do is do a bit of research, not we? No, all we've got to do is a bit of research for it. <laughs> Millie, we're on the way to Dubai. How are you feeling? <laughs> Tired. No. Powered on coffee. So we're on the way to the hotel. We are very excited. Can't wait. Well, the water park to come today. So, we've finally arrived at the water park. I was gonna, we were debating on having a little nap or coming straight to the water park, but we have come to the water park. Straight here. Apparently, it's massive, but where we are at the moment, we can't really see much. But we're gonna have to put the camera away in the locker, aren't we? We can't take it around with us, but I'll speak to you all when we get back later and tell you how it is. So we are just back from the water park. Liam, did you have fun? Yeah, we had the best time. We had the best time. So now we've got to go down the beach with a few drinks and some food. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a room tour because we couldn't check in till three and well so it's quarter past two we got back from the water park and just checked in so i'm going to give you a little room tour excuse how i look well this is the toilet <laughs> bathroom stunning i am um, didn't really dry myself after the water park Shall I show you what bikini I've got on too? 
little cute one from ASOS. Um, we have another mirror, the bed, which looks super comfy, Liam, suitcases, and the view. Now look at this. Wow. This is our hotel. So we're staying at the Royal Central Hotel, the Palm. Wow. Um, so we've had a bit of bad news. Liam's PCR has come back null. And we were supposed to be going on the June buggy tour today. So we were gonna go and ride on quad bikes on the quad bikes in the desert. What are you saying? The June buggy is a quad bike. Quad bike, quad bag, quad biking in the desert. And um, what else is we gonna be doing? Our barbecue at sunset. But we can't go now. Um, they've tested it twice and it's null. So now they're trying for the third time to see what it is. But it's not gonna come back until 1 p.m. And they won't pick us up at half 12. So we have to cancel it. And obviously we don't know over Liam what's, what's the situation. We have to stay in our room <laughs> until we get the test result. <laughs> and we're hoping for the best. I'm saying this now and I'm putting it in the universe. This test is going to come back negative. It's New Year's Eve. So, could be worse. We could be in England, isolating in the cold on New Year's Eve. But we are in Dubai. Uh, but it is raining and we can't leave. Liam, do you have anything to say about the situation? Very, very annoyed. Oh, oh, baby. Yeah, just the order was starting yesterday. Text came through and nil, which is not very ideal. No. So we got to chill in the room until we find out. Fingers crossed it's negative because I feel absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with me whatsoever. Yeah. Definitely got my taste and definitely got my smell. I'm fine with that. So hopefully this doesn't ruin the holiday. It's not going to ruin the holiday. PMA. What's that, Liam? Positive in mind. <laughs> Positive, Positive mental, mental attitude. attitude. Positive mental attitude. PMA. PMA. You might be Chicken able to. Biryani. I'm trying to talk. Yeah, I'm gonna have curry. Can I chicken tikka yeah? Curry? No. I'm gonna have the lamb biryani. Papa dum. Right. You may be wondering why are we ordering food indoors? Because the news ended up being bad news. Liam has been tested. Presumptive positive. Ugh, it's presumptive positive. Because it's not negative, they, uh, they can't let me out. So I've got to stay for 72 hours and take a t until I take another test. And then hopefully our test comes back negative. Yeah, so we were meant to be going downstairs in the hotel party for New Year's Eve, but they've said, because we bought a package, so we can have unlimited food and drinks in our hotel room. <laughs> and you can see the fireworks from our balcony. So we'll still be able to see that. And we're just gonna get drunk in the room, aren't we? Yeah. So all we can do really, order food and get drunk in the room. And hope that Liam doesn't pass COVID on to me. Anyway. Has the sunset gone? Oh, it's gone. I've just missed it. Oh, I actually put this vlog on so you could see the sunset. I completely missed it. Suffer. <laughs> Cheers. Happy New Year.
day one of isolation. It's we woke up about half eleven because there was absolutely nothing to wake up for. And then we I went and sat on the balcony for a bit and looked at everyone in the pool. I was very jealous. But then it literally what's the saying? All hell's broke loose. The heavens broke. All the heavens open. <laughs> All hell broke loose. What's that all hell broke loose? All hell broke loose. I'm really bad at saying. The heavens opened. <laughs> and it has been literally torrential rain all day. Um, storming and stuff. But we have literally been in bed all day. And we have two more days until we can do another PCR. Because Liam's was presumptive positive. We can have 72 hours and test again, which hopefully is negative. Um, and that's all really I have to say to that today. There's nothing that I could have shown you or filmed today. So tomorrow I'm going to be a bit more active. Liam, you said you were going to do a workout, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. I'm going to... What? He needs to do a workout. He needs to do a workout and then I'm going to do either like a makeup tutorial or get like put makeup on and get dressed and take some pictures on the balcony so um yeah speak to you tomorrow so guys as you know we were isolating in the room because liam's test was presumptive positive but very good news this morning liam woke up and it came back as negative so we were literally screaming in bed this morning we got up straight away was like what should we do and the thing we were most looking forward to doing was the June buggy experience where we do the quad biking, sandboarding, and we had a bloody blast, didn't we? We did. It was so fun. Tell everyone what you think about it. The Desert Safari. Yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely loved what it. What was your favourite bit? The quad bike? The quad bike. Yeah, I got a bit dizzy with the, uh, the Jeep. Jeep, oh yeah, so we did the quad bikes first, which was so sick, we didn't, we didn't realise we had paid for it, so then we went there and they were like, you Lovely. can either, <laughs> no, but I paid for a package before to go, and then and then I thought quad bikes was included, it wasn't, and then they were like, do you want to do it in this little area, or out, like in the open desert, so it was like, open desert, 100%, I was a little bit scared at some point, so I'm not going to lie, I was going fast, you was going fast, so I was trying to keep up with you, and then he kept going over these really steep hills, I thought I was going to go overboard. Overboard. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not the right word to say? The right word? Arse over tip, maybe? Arse over tip. Anyway, we didn't. The girl that we were with, though, she went over. Anyway, we had a great time. And then we did, we went into the car and was dune bashing. So the guy driving the car was going mental. I've got some videos, I'm just going to input them here so you can see what we got up to. You ready to go? Bye. Let's wave. over on the sand board. I was absolutely pants at that. Um, but now did the second time. I think it was the way he pushed me. He pushed me a bit dodgy, you know? A bit unfair. He pushed everyone else normal. <laughs> then we come home, we're having a bit of lunch. It's rained a minute ago, so I don't know. We kind of want to go and see because we haven't been in the sea yet. This is kind of like our first day of the holiday, really, so where the good part of the vlog starts. So we're gonna do a shop now because it ain't a holiday without shops to start off. Is it really? It's a bit dark, but let's do it anyway. Nick can sort on his chairs. Kayla drinking an orange margarita. Liam has margarita. I don't know margarita. why I just said that. It's not even a margarita. Strawberry daiquiri. 
Oh yeah, mm, is that nice? Everybody just watch how Liam eats um, for a second. Right, so first of all, he shoves so much in his mouth, it's absolutely ridiculous. Second of all, he eats at the front of his mouth, like in between his lips. Let me eat the way I want to eat. You can absolutely eat the way you want to eat, babe. Don't, don't you worry about that. Yo, yo. What number mojito is this? Three. I'm only my third mojito. <laughs> I just got a text from Ryan saying I hope you're vlogging. Mm. And I wasn't. So I should probably vlog this. We have just been in the sea, taking photos, drinking drinks, taking Liam doesn't know how to edit yes, or anything. It's just weird. <laughs> Come on, sweet, it's my vlog with me. Guys, we're on the beach. It's very, very cloudy. <laughs> spirits, well, spirits are high. We're having a good time. We're getting drunk, we're getting drunk very drunk. Yeah, we're going to chill here for the afternoon, as drunk as we can, and then uh, got dinner tonight. So I don't know how that's going to go. Um, let me fly to the Maldives in the morning, so very excited and can't wait. Most likely, we are going to be drunk on the flight home tonight. Uh, flight home? On the flight to Maldives tonight. You only live once, guys. Cheers to 2022. So, guys. We're just getting ready for dinner. If I'm too drunk to take photos, then I thought I'd come on. I've just got ready, full face of makeup, and hair, like fully <laughs> You know, the pictures later might not come out, <laughs> might not come out the way I want them to. And if that's the case, I'm gonna show you my outfit now. I have this waistcoat and trousers from ASOS, of course. And I am wearing my cute pink Balenciaga bag with pink shoes. Cute combo, right? Liam is wearing black polo. Would you say it was a polo? Yeah, polo. Trousers, lubes. You look <laughs> fit, babe. <laughs> fit. And look, we match. There's a bit of champagne left, so. Anyway, because of the size of this bag, I actually can't take you with me tonight. So sorry. But in about, so we're going out tonight, and then we have to come home, pack, and leave the Maldives. So, yeah, going to be on the flight pretty drunk. Um, so I'll let you know how it goes. of what I was saying. Liam is miserable. What? Huh? Yeah, I didn't say anything. I literally didn't say anything. He's so miserable. And even though I've been throwing up all night. Well, not all night, for right now. Still got high spirits, do you know what I mean? Liam on the other hand. What have you got to say for yourself? I'm fine now. You want to say something for yourself? Give me the big, big one last night. Oh, I can't wait to go to the airport. Drank. Oh my god. Like you know, you look like you've been dragged to a bush. Can you moan in? Absolutely. I have not moaned once. Oh, I lost off some of that. Oh, I maybe not drink so much that I might be sick again. When I said I've never been to the airport, I drank before. I can't wait to do it. 
Uh, I never, ever do this again. I could cry. <laughs> Good morning. Um, can't remember what the last thing I said to the camera was. I was drunk. I did, well, my camera went in the suitcase at the airport so I couldn't film, but I've done a couple of videos on my phone. And it's probably the worst travel experience I've ever had. Would you say so as well? Yeah. Liam agrees. We were pretty drunk and it was a really bad travel experience. Uh, we only have ourselves to blame. I think the worst part for me was the seaplane. That was supposed to be a really cool experience and when I first got on it I was like, wow, yeah, this is cool. And then an hour later when we were still flying and we were landing for other islands, people would get off. Oh, the way it hit the sea, it was just like slammed, didn't it? I thought I was going to throw up and I was sitting next to this random guy with a sick bag in my hand like please don't be sick I was holding it in the whole time but today is a full jam packed day isn't it we're planning on going snorkelling um, on the walk park I don't know if you can see it can you see through this gap the inflatable is in the sea so we're probably going to go on that today because that looks fun so Liam's got his GoPro. Um, so your GoPro can go in the water, can't it? Yeah. So the GoPro can go in the water, so we'll use that to film some of the snorkeling. Should we bring it on the water park with us? Yeah. So I'll be able to put some it footage of what we get up to today from Liam's GoPro. And then I'll let you know what we get up to tonight. So we are staying at Siam World. When I first found out that we were staying here, it reminded me of Tenerife, the water park, if you know, you know. And apparently this is the largest island in the Maldives, isn't it? So? The largest island, and they've only been open for about six months. So it's all very new and lovely. So it's day three of the holiday. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I forgot to film us last night at the Indian. But we had a bunner for Maine. With this unreal like mozzarella naan bread. So good. And today we are going snorkeling. It's 10 miles a night and we haven't had breakfast yet. We've got to be there for 10. So we're quickly running off to breakfast now to eat. Or Liam, because he literally cannot survive without breakfast, and he's moody if he doesn't have breakfast. <laughs> and then off we go. So I'm bringing my camera with me, so I'll be able to film a bit of the snorkeling trip. And yeah. Hi guys, it is, what day, day number is it? Four. Day four and we are going 
to get some lunch and then we're going on the jet skis. Oh, he's doing a little selfie video, showing off the fit. Tell everyone what the fit is then with this. Wait, sure it's open. Where's it from? All from ASOS. All from ASOS. So, Liam will get the footage of the jet ski on his GoPro. So I'll enter the footage of that now. actually vlogged in a while I think the last time I vlogged was like two mornings ago so apologies about that we didn't really do much yesterday every day we've been up and about doing some stuff activities whatever but yesterday was a pretty chill day and there wasn't really much to vlog to be honest we just wanted a day of pure pure relaxation so back at it again today woke up this morning and we had a little badminton game i thought i was pretty good to be honest liam won we did he won the first game i won the second game and then unfortunately he won the third game so he won overall but for someone who hasn't played badminton since I was like 12, I was pretty good. And it wasn't an easy win either, like, it was a close call each time, wasn't it? It was. It was. I was winning all the points, basically. And when it gets, so it was like first to 10, and when I'd get close to 10, I'd start being crap for some reason, which was weird. And then Liam would catch up and then he'd win, so that was a little bit annoying. And then I got some lunch and now we're back to the room because it is raining and also i went barefoot because i didn't have any trainers to play badminton in so i thought oh them them shoes would be good but they weren't so i went barefoot and the green dye on the badminton court has stained my feet and now stained my shoe we are going night fishing not night fishing sunset fishing today so i'll bring you with me there we actually haven't seen a proper sunset yet because where our where our uh, room is it's on the other side so we haven't seen the sunset but we're gonna see it tonight and liam's gonna do a bit of fishing i might try and do a bit of fishing i probably won't be any good at it we didn't make it to the sunset fishing because it has been torrential rain for pretty much most of the day so we spent the day kind of watching the rain lying in bed having a nap um and it stopped raining now so we've come out for dinner we're waiting for the little buggy because the walk to the restaurant that we're going to is about 20 minutes away i think i don't know 10 minutes and it's an it's a more deviant restaurant no that's not the buggy Restaurant, it's the Maldivian restaurant. It's probably going to be the one of the best yet. And we're very excited. We've heard very that hungry. it is going to be the best yet. The food is going to be the best yet. Um, we're very hungry. Very excited. You About look it. very handsome right now. You look handsome. Very handsome. I'm, As staring, I'm staring at, at beauty also. So. A beauty. <laughs> ah, I love you. Love you baby. <laughs> Cheers, Baba. So I realise I've not once shown you our dinner on this holiday. Liam, tell us what you've got. You've got uh, octopus noodles. Oh. Uh, with, they're very spicy, I've been told, which I'm looking for the spice. Forward to the spice. Can I order the French fries? I've got a ribeye steak chives, with some mac and cheese. Do, yeah. Thank you. And Liam's just ordered some more French fries because that's not enough for him. <laughs> So I realised I actually haven't given you a room tour yet. 
So I'm going to give you a little room tour because um, Prem, uh, he comes and cleans our room every morning. He is the most wonderful person ever. He's so, so lovely. Um, so, shout out to Prem. Do you like my outfit? Of course, this is ASOS. And this is Selfridges, Crystal Haze. Cute. Our bath. One sink area, two sink area. The toilet is in here. My wardrobe. <laughs> that is pathetic. And Liam's wardrobe. Also pathetic. Why wow, we've only hung up that amount. Shower in there. We have safe. And that's it really. The bedroom. A lot of my stuff up here, but this is the bed, and that looks out to outside. So, this bed is probably the comfiest I don't think it's comfy as my bed at home, but look what he's done. He also done a really, really cute one the other day as well, but this one's really sweet, adorable. This is just meant to be a nice sofa, but Liam's just left his crap everywhere. Is it really? Just a lot of mess everywhere. Ironing board because Liam's closing his ironing. And this is where I kept all my stuff. Don't judge me, please. I will never not be messy, I don't think. So that's just something Liam's gonna have to deal with. And this is our garden. It's not a garden, is it? What would you say this was? Our outside area. <laughs> Liam's been collecting some shells. So that are you actually going to... Oh, he's got the socks on that are icky as well. This is just absolutely stunning. Our snorkels down there. Our slide. And this is our view. We actually went snorkeling, when was it? Yesterday, no not yesterday because it was pouring down with rain yesterday. The day before, around this area near our near the slide. And the tide took us out so far into the ocean. It was actually quite scary, I was panicking. But I saw, did you see those fishes in the end, babe? You know when I was saying, oh my God, look, look, look. It was one of them fishes and they weren't fl they weren't swimming at the like where all the other fish were like at the bottom. They were at the top, and they had the long spike. Yeah. What are they called? Mm -hmm. You don't know what they're called. Long spike fish. Long spike fish. It's pathetic. We're gonna have a bit of some babe, I think, because we've only got today and tomorrow left of the holiday, and then later. Because we were meant to go and sunset fishing, obviously um, yesterday we couldn't because of the rain. So we're doing that again. We're doing that today. Um, I think we're going to go and take some pictures today because we've realised we have each other on this holiday, and we've literally been taking pictures of each other, but we have no pictures of together. We have some selfies, but we're going to go and take some photos together today. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to hear us with the noise. So we are on the sunset fishing trip. Um, where's the sun hidden behind those clouds up there? So I'm not sure, it's a bit cloudy, I'm not sure whether we're going to see the sunset, but we're going to do a bit of fishing. We've got champagne on the boat and life couldn't really be any better. Someone's like really moody because he's not got one fish yet and he's just miserable. And because I'm asking him to uh, hold my line for two seconds. Fifth time, the second time I asked you. <laughs> wow, it's not quite. 
quite the sunset just yet, but the sun is like completely red. Hi guys, so sadly today is our last Tuesday. day on the island. Liam said he's ready to go home. I could definitely do another couple of days. No, I, lo I love it here. It's absolutely beautiful, but I'm ready to get back to the UK. Get back on work and just get back to uh, yeah. normal life. We've, we worked out after not being home because we went to Wales for Christmas and then to my family and then on holiday. We have been away from the apartment for three weeks, three weeks we? yeah. which is a long time to be away from home and we miss the apartment, don't we? We do miss the apartment. We've got a lot of work to get done there. So yeah, we're looking forward to a little massage. It's been raining again today. Well, drizzling a little bit. It's a bit cloudy. Anyway, see you at the spa. So we are at the spa. So before we start the treatment. So we just had a facial and oh my god it was the most relaxing thing ever it's an hour long i think i must have fell asleep a couple of times to wake myself up <laughs> i was certain i could hear you like loud snoring liam what you was like doing that loud breathing thing that you do like when it's like not it's quite a snore but it's like you defo was we haven't been here before so i'm going to show you around some nice fresh water with fruit in we have here is the steam room i think no sauna and here's the steam room so we're going to go in the steam room and then go in the pool a little outside shower look at the beautiful gardens it's just absolutely stunning here and some nuts and we've got two pools one here which is just wow look at that two pools and then we went down here to go through and go to the spa rooms Fabulous time, it's been amazing. Don't be sad that it's over, we'll be happy that it happened. We've had an amazing holiday, haven't we? Not the best time. We are going to the Japanese restaurant tonight for dinner. It's supposed to be the best, well, it is the best restaurant on the island. The best. Best restaurant best in Maldives, apparently. So I'm um, looking forward to that. We said the best will last. We've got our best outfits on, haven't we? Yeah. You look lovely. You look amazing. Let's have a cheers. I've got a corn star martini. Cheers. Cheers. Done this on our beds. How bloody cute is that? We found out who we were. <laughs> he didn't uh, know who we were, but apparently one of his other other guests that he he cleans their room. They told him that we were here or something, and he said, "Oh, I clean their room." <laughs> he probably went, "Liam's a messy." Bar. We've just had dinner, Japanese, I ate, we ate so much sushi for starters, so we didn't really eat our mains, but it was lovely. Uh, now we have to pack. we got to wake up at about 4.30 in the morning. Let's just have a rest, have a lay down, and then pack. Anyway, <laughs> see, I look like Diana with my hair up and pearls on and blue. Good 
good morning guys um so <laughs> last night well yesterday the last part of the vlog ah itchy eye sorry actually let me just start off by saying please excuse the state of me we had an extremely long day of traveling yesterday it's my first vlog I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what I'm doing. I feel like it wasn't very consistent. Um, and there was days where I didn't even film. So I'm probably the most pathetic vlogger you've ever seen, ever. But practice makes perfect, doesn't it? I'm gonna get used to it. And the next holiday we go on, wherever that will be, will be the best holiday vlog you've ever seen. So this was just the first trial. But anyway. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you have made it to the end of this vlog, then I absolutely love you. Um, and so does Liam. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you again in the next video, which I actually am not too sure what we're doing yet. But I'm back home now, back on it. And it's time to get the YouTube videos going once a week is the goal. So I'll see you guys in the next one.